can't help what it's on YouTube. Which one is it? We've got it up on YouTube. Which one it's is it? It's called Come Up and Say Us. So, beyond that, uh, I understand your position with your fuel tanks. I more than understand that. And I, I would like to ask you one question, though. In 2010, you said you had a meeting with the then board. And what ever came of that? Nobody wanted to do anything at that time. But isn't there a... You, you state that the law says that you have to do this. Why wouldn't we have had to have done it at that particular time? I, I don't understand. There's thousands of tanks that are out of compliance. They're all over the place. We're in a bad economy. A lot of people, townships, businesses, don't have the money to upgrade. A lot of them actually get rid of their tanks. They don't want to get rid of them. They don't want to get rid of the convenience. They don't want to get the security, the storage. They don't want to get rid of them. It comes down to money. All right? That's why. There's a lot of companies that have tanks out there that are out of compliance. But that doesn't mean the law has changed. The law is what it is. If you spend some time and look on the internet sites or call the State Fire Marshal and educate yourself about it, I won't have to educate you because you don't listen to me. You've been to one of my tank meetings and you don't believe what you hear. I'm just out there for free trying to talk to people and educate what the government writes. All right? And enforce stuff and help people keep tanks if they can. Getting bashed, my reputation as a company, getting ripped up the way you did, that's not fair. I totally agree with that. That's good. But I can't stop what's out there on, on the Does anybody have any questions for me? On the internet situation. Well, I think you do a pretty good job. Okay. Yeah, how much happy bucks do you make out of this by going around and doing it? Nothing. Oh, really? Do you install tanks? We install tanks if people want to. I see. So we go around and and educate people on what they need to do to upgrade things in such a way that you put fear into the people that have tanks right now when there doesn't seem to be any real need to do it in any great speed anywhere. Okay. Right. Well, so this is, this is this, that's wonderful. You can keep that. I don't use for violations. Make more informed as you read. The thing is, is when they come and do the state inspection, they're going to find the township because it takes on their property under their control. Correct? Yes. Correct. So he owns that tank, but yet has no liability. He's trying to educate you on a liability that you're about to assume when the EPA steps on that property and finds you. How much a day? $1,000 a day per violation. And $1,000? And they will lock it down and they will not let you access that property until that violator is upgraded. So maybe it's not a scare tactic, and that is slanderous also to say, saying that he used scare tactics. When he's educating you, saying it's not on him to upgrade his tank, he owns it. But he can let you assume the liabilities. How does that work? That is the law. You have given permission for that tank to be on your property. You have signed saying you're going to assume the liabilities. And the EPA will go after the property owner. That's correct. We if, all if I go and I take 55 gallon drums of used motor oil. And you allow me to store them on your property. And I punch holes in them and they drain into your ground, you allowed me access to your property to store your property, you're fine with EPA. And now you're going to take the tanks off, right? Yes, they're not compliant, I'm taking them off the property, and I'm spending a couple thousand dollars to take them off according to the law. You're going to charge us for that? Will be here. Are you going to charge us for that? No. No? I should, but I'm not. Well, thank you. That's very nice. The about the videos. Let's lesson you learn. Gather careful what you say. Ask the president of Ohio State about that. Because you can't be held liable. Earl, something I have not control of. You said, you say you have control of it, sir. How about came out of your mouth? No. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is an educational thing for everybody. If you say it in a public forum, it is on the record as a, as a public statement made by you, and you represent this township. And it doesn't matter who videos it. It's your words. That, that's that's how that works. It doesn't matter who records it. Oh, okay. fine. You said it. You say it, you want it. Okay. Anything else? I, I would never damage the township and sue anybody for that. But you're personally liable for what you did. I don't think you really, your attitude, you don't care about it. It's not that I don't and care about it. I don't believe that I said that your company yeah. creates the law. Then you should watch Well, it. you did. There's a screenshot with a link in there. You can put it into the URL and look at it. It's there. I can't believe the residents of this township haven't demanded your resignation. <laughs> I agree. I don't think your people being be an attorney. Thank you. You're fair. They, you're, you're entitled to your opinion, sir. Thank <laughs> you.